Home Secretary there, Theresa May, speaking to Maxine Mulwiney earlier. Time now for a look at the weather and see what we're up to over the next week. Here's Matt Taylor. Hello there. A few showers continuing this evening, but for most, a dry end to the day. Some sunny spells around and then clearing skies through tonight. And with winds a little bit lighter, certainly going to feel much fresher than it has done over the past few nights. Now, one or two showers will continue. They'll tend to be across parts of western Scotland, northern Ireland, and through the night, a few in northwest England. But you can notice elsewhere, not much in the way of cloud shadows on the chart, an indication that there'll be some lengthy clear spells. And it's that will help the temperatures to drop away. We're looking at lows of around 8 to 12 degrees in most of the major towns and cities. Some rural parts down into single digits, perhaps as low as around four or five degrees. So that distinct separation between what's going on in the cities and in rural areas as we go into tomorrow morning. So a chilly start to tomorrow morning, especially for this stage in August, but quite a sunny one for the most part. Bit of cloud western Scotland, northwest England, northern Ireland with a few showers. We'll see a few more showers develop through the day, but they'll ease off a touch into the afternoon as the initial brightness is taken away from the southwest Wales and eventually southwestern parts of northern Ireland. But before that cloud really starts to spill in, isolated showers by this stage, four o'clock, most will be dry, temperatures in the mid to high teens. Scotland, isolated showers here. Fewer showers than we've seen through Sunday afternoon and most will see some sunshine for the second half of the day and plenty of sunshine too across much of northern and eastern England with most dry, few showers to speak of. Winds will be reasonably light so it should feel quite pleasant once you're out there in the sun. Temperatures peaking maybe a degree or two lower than it did this afternoon at around 21 or 22 degrees. Make a way to the southwest, and it's a different picture here to end the day. A lot more cloud that'll have spilled in to bring some mainly light and patchy rain across Devon, Cornwall, Somerset, Dorset. Increasingly wet too across many parts of southern and western Wales, but the northeast still finishes the day dry and reasonably bright. But even here, we'll see some wet weather develop through the evening and overnight. That thicker cloud from the southwest, in fact, spilling to most parts as we go into Tuesday. The rain mainly across northern and western areas. All tied in with a fairly low, fairly small area of low pressure, which will sweep across the north. But you'll notice the isobars closer together for Tuesday, so quite a breeze to go with it. The rain heaviest across the hills in the north and west, but for most light and patchy rain through the day. Driest conditions continuing towards eastern parts of England, where we will see a little bit of brightness. That rain clears away then into Wednesday. A few isolated showers, most will have a dry day with some sunny spells. And into Thursday, it's still a lot of dry weather, but a few more showers to speak of. Take care. In a week where unrest and rioting have spread across England, Panorama asks, why now? If this carries on for a few more nights, there won't be a city left. Panorama, the August riots, Monday at 8.30 on BBC One and BBC One HD. Continuing tensions between police chiefs and the government over how the riots in England were handled. Open the door! Open the door! As raids continue to arrest suspects, the Home Secretary says the public wanted tough action. Thousands attend a peace rally in Birmingham. Relatives of three men who died during the disturbances address the crowd. The three boys didn't die in vain. They died for this community, and I hope that this community will remember them. Police in Norway take the gunman Anders Breivik back to the island where he shot dead 69 people. And it's a goal from Wayne Rooney. And a winning start for Manchester United as they kick off the defence of their Premier League title. Good evening. Senior police officers have questioned the Prime Minister's plan to ask a former American police chief to advise ministers on tackling gang violence. It comes amid continuing tensions between the police and the government on how the riots in England last week were handled, as our correspondent Danny Savage reports. In areas where rioting took place, like here in London, Police have been getting on with the business of tracking down those suspected of being involved in the trouble. 
but there's a growing chorus of concern about the government seeking the advice of a US police chief. To avoid more of this, Bill Bratton is coming to the UK to give some tips on how to deal with gangs. Sir Hugh Ward, the president of the Association of Chief Police Officers, isn't impressed. He told a Sunday newspaper, I'm not sure I want to learn about gangs from an area of America that has 400 of them. It seems to me, if you've got 400 gangs, then you're not being very effective. But a former officer, dubbed Robocop in his time, can see the benefits of the visitor from the States. What the British police forces have got to accept is that their style of policing just hasn't worked. And that's what we're talking about here. You can put 6,000 police officers on, on the beat or 16,000. It matters not. What's more important is the style of policing. And consulting a former American police chief isn't the only thing that the government and police seem unable to agree on at the moment. The acting chief here, Tim Godwin, has accused politicians of sending out mixed messages when it comes to dealing